What is up everyone and welcome back for another episode. Today we are going to go over my top 10 corals for my Waterbox 20 Cube. Now as a disclaimer, these are my top 10. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're the easiest or the best fit for you. However, I might note that I am a beginner when it comes to coral and reef keeping um, and so far so good. So take that with a grain of salt. Let's get into it. At number 10, the Pasilopora. This moderate care level SPS coral requires high lighting and strong water flow. Although I don't recommend this to the newest hobbyists, I do think that once you learn the fundamentals of calcium and KH in your tank, this would make an excellent addition to your reef tank. Number nine, the Acropora. This moderate care level SPS coral requires moderate to high light and medium to strong water flow. And although the polyps aren't fully extended because I just introduced this coral to my tank, you can see in this picture that this makes an absolutely stunning addition to any reef tank. Coming in at number eight is the ACAN. This moderate care level SPS coral requires moderate lighting and medium to strong water flow. It typically likes to be placed around the bottom to middle section of your tank and makes an absolutely great choice for a beginner reef tank. Coming in at number 7 is the Duncan. This popular LPS coral has made a name for itself in the reef keeping hobby for its large polyps and quirky feeding routine. This coral requires moderate care, low to moderate light, and low to medium flow. This coral is definitely my family's favorite coral and I believe is an absolute must have for any tank. Number 6, the Montipora. This moderate to care for SPS coral is an eye catching addition to any reef tank. The Montipora is a peaceful coral that will not harm surrounding coral, although it is a good idea to give it its space due to its incredibly fast growth rate under the ideal water conditions. This is easily one of my favorite corals in the tank and is why I recommend this coral for your reef tank. Number 5, the Mushroom. The Mushroom is an easy to care for LPS coral that requires low to moderate light, low flow, and comes in a wide variety of colors. This coral, although beautiful, can quickly become invasive if left unchecked. Therefore, it is a good idea to leave this mushroom on an isolated rock or island so you can keep it under control and enjoy its beauty at the same time. Coming in at number 4 is the Bubble Coral. This easy to care for LPS coral requires moderate lighting, low to medium flow, and should be placed at the bottom of the reef tank. This coral's remarkable bubble-like polyps extend to maximize photosynthesis, and although cute, will extend long sweeper tentacles at night to search for food and defend its turf. At number three is the frog spawn. This moderate care LPS coral is an aggressive coral that requires moderate light and medium flow. This coral gets its name from the frog egg-like tips viewable in day and night and is a stinger much like the torch corals. Therefore, it should be kept at a distance from others. Number two, the hammer coral. This stunning moderate to care for LPS coral requires moderate lighting and medium flow. The hammer-like multicolored polyps are an unforgettable trait that has made this coral one of the most popular corals in the hobby with an unlimited variety, making this coral an easy favorite of mine and a solid recommendation for your reef tank. And last but certainly not the least, coming in at number one on my list of favorite corals is the torch coral. This moderate care level coral requires moderate light and medium flow. This coral belongs to the same Euphilia family as the hammer coral and therefore can come in contact without killing each other. This long polyp beauty comes in a wide variety of colors and can grow quickly under the proper conditions. Finally, it's worth noting that while the torch does not require supplemental feeding, it is recommended to quickly increase its size, plus it's pretty cool to see it eat. Hey guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 corals for my reef tank. If you like this content, please hit the like button below and subscribe for more. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and happy reefing.